Eggsy. I saw in you what someone once saw in me. Something that can't be taught. The makings of a Kingsman. Being a Kingsman is more than the clothing we wear or the weapons we bear. It's about being willing to sacrifice for the greater good. I hope you're ready for what comes next. Growing up and feeling, you know, you're in the drudgery of school or, or whatever it is about your life you'd like to escape, anybody who had a secret life appealed to your fantasies? Because you could go to school and you're, you're sort of imagining that, you know, everyone just thinks I'm a schoolboy, but really, yeah. I, you know, I've, I've got right. yeah. secrets that are, you know, yeah. I need to save the world. And all the gear, too, all the, yeah. you know, the toys. Yeah. And Nobody knows that. They just, they just yeah, think I'm just right. like lame yeah. schoolboys. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you think this is a pen. Yeah. 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 What is a pen? What has he got? I think that Kingsman borrows a lot from that sort of Roger Moore, not taking itself too seriously, done everything with a wry smile and a raised eyebrow. Bond, of course Bond. Um, Majesty's Secret Service is one of the first films I think I went to in the cinema, you know, without parents. I was probably about eight. Um, Harry Palmer, Michael Caine. Mm. Uh, that image, this man with glasses. You know, I think it, it was certainly had an effect on Kingsman and a whole sort of 60s um, look. Today marks the beginning of a new age. Wait, I'm going to show you. Say goodbye to the Kingsman. You've ratcheted up a fair I've few, a few epic villains. And I have to yeah. say, you are I love your kick-ass villain. Oh, great. Frank also, D'Amico. Frank D'Amico. I, was, I watched that film in a group, uh, in a cinema, with a, with a group of people who had been invited to watch it, who, when I get blown off the balcony of a Manhattan apartment block with a bazooka, a bazooka yeah. cheered and clapped. <laughs> what does that do for your self-esteem? It's very odd. Is it quite an odd experience? Yeah. Yeah. You're sitting in literally a group of three or four, five hundred people, and they're all cheering and clapping the fact that you've just been killed. <laughs> Always worrying. You dug villains, you know. Not really. Not really. No, they're, they're always oh. got redeeming features oh, or something. Oh, oh. You I, know, there's always some, I'm sensitive or misunderstood or something. Yeah, it doesn't quite to, count. I, I suppose I mean, Mary Poppins, I think I'm absolutely the villain. I think I'm, yeah, but it is Mary Poppins. It's uh, not exactly Frank uh, yeah, Booth. Uh, you know. Frank Booth, yeah, he was right. Welcome to Statesman. As your American cousins, we'll be working side by side got agents named after different alcoholic beverages. That's right. So when you guys have a night out, what is your tipple of choice? Do you know, I, 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 um, I've developed a bit of a fancy for a Long Island iced tea, but Long I agent Long Island iced tea doesn't really have much of a ring to it, does it? No. But that's the movie star superstar, then you see. You've gone over to the other side. I have of the Long Island yeah. iced tea. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I, I used to. You've um, changed, man. <laughs> I used to like an old fashioned, so whiskey based. But I'm now, but now it's gin and tonic. I don't know why, but gin and tonic with, with, with uh, grapefruit, red uh, grapefruit. I quite like vodka with grapefruit. It's called a greyhound, right? Is it? Yeah. Oh, I'm very highfalutin and fancy now. Okay, with your Long Island iced tea. <laughs> yeah. So, XC, what do you do? I work for Kingsman, the tailors, your highness. I must say, you are really not as I expected. 